And we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we are going to now talk about Shohei Otani and, uh, you know, some of the updates, um, you know, regarding him. So um, I just want to uh, pull up, um, you know, the odds of him, you know, his current odds of signing with, you know, some of the teams. Uh, so just give me one second here. So I pull that up. Um so this is a uh, courtesy of LegalSports.com. So these are the odds. This is this was um, you know came out recently. So right now the Dodgers have the best odds to sign him. Then you got the Blue Jays, and then the Cubs um, at plus seven hundred. Um, let me just uh, you know pull up the whole thing on my phone because I wasn't able to fit all the teams. Um, but yeah, so you got the Dodgers at minus hundred. Then you got the Blue Jays at plus one fifteen. The Cubs at plus seven hundred. Braves at plus 750, Giants at plus 800, Angels plus 1300, the Red Sox are at plus 1500, Phillies are at plus 1500, Padres are at plus 1500, Yankees are at plus 2000, uh, Mets are at plus uh, two, uh, 2200, Mariners um, 2500. So they got, they got like, their odds are like so like low. Um, I thought they would be, I guess they, they just, uh, I guess they really don't have a chance. I don't know. And then any other team is plus 115. So, um, so yeah, the Dodgers look like the favorites. I mean, the thing that I keep seeing is the Blue Jays. Uh, the Blue Jays have kind of been gaining some momentum here, at least, you know, from what I've seen. Um, I mean, I think the Blue Jays, based off of what the Yankees did, um, you know, they are going to really... Um, they're going to really make a push at trying to get Otani. Um, and what's going to come along with that is they're going to have to, you know, trade some of their core guys like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. or um, Bo Bichette. Um, so as of two hours ago, uh, at least MLB uh, trade rumors posted, a uh, Choi Otani decision reportedly imminent. Imminent, sorry. Um, so, I mean... We'll see what happens, you know. Um, the Blue Jays, uh, yeah, and also John uh, Morosi, he tweeted, a decision is imminent, possible, possibly as early as today. So, um, I mean, we'll see. Like, do the Blue Jays have a, a really good chance to get them? I mean, I, I guess. I mean, you know, and I think the Blue Jays, again, based off of what um, – you know, the Yankees have done getting Soto. I mean, the Blue Jays are going to want to maybe match that, you know, and sign Otani. Um, I, what's interesting to me is just, like, what the contract's going to be and how the contract is going to play out because Otani's not going to pitch. And we talked about this last week. Um, you know, and if he gets hurt again, you know, um, it the contract's going to look really bad. Um, and Otani is still, like, you know, even with him not pitching, I mean, he's going to, you know, be a great hitter, you know, as long as he stays, you know, healthy. Um, you know, it, it's tough. It's a tough call because you give him that contract, it could definitely blow up in your face. It, it, it really can. But with a player like him, you take the risk. Like, he's one of those very few players where you would take the risk and say, you know what, I'm just going to do this, and, you know, if it hurts me in the long run, I'm going to have to deal with it. But, um, you know, I'm curious to see how it plays out and where he ends up, you know. And the Dodgers kind of leaning towards them maybe getting him just because, you know, like they've dumped a lot of payroll and – um you know, I mean, Otani, for Otani, you're still on the West Coast. But I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'm hoping he doesn't end up with the Blue Jays uh, just because I don't want him playing in the same division as the Yankees. But if that happens, I mean, you know, maybe the Blue Jays could trade us, uh, you know, Vlad and Bichette. You know, may have, have Bichette play third base for us, you know, uh, instead of LeMayu. Um, well, Vlad said he would never sign with the Yankees, so... Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I, I think for me, I think, I mean, I'm surprised how the Mariners were that low because I don't know. I, I felt like 
they could have been a potential suitor. But uh, right now, it seems like it's either going to be the Blue Jays or the Dodgers. And I'm hoping it's the Dodgers. And, you know, I mean, it's going to, you know, stink for a lot of the teams in the National League, you know, just because, um, you know, you're going to have to deal with Otani, Mookie Betts, and Freddie Freeman all in the same lineup if that does happen. And, you know, but if he goes to the Blue Jays, I mean, they're going to have to get rid of some people. So, I mean, I don't know what, I mean, like I said, like, I, I was reading that they could get rid of Bichette and Vlad if they get Otani, but I don't know. They re it remains to be seen what um, is going to happen. But but wh whoever he signs to, I mean, you know, that's just going to be the topic of conversation. Um, you know, and it's, it's a... Uh, Again, you know, there's a lot of unknowns. You know, when he comes back and pitches, is he, could he get hurt again? I mean, again, it's the second Tommy John surgery, you know. Um, so who knows how long he's going to pitch for. But, you know, if a team really wants him, a team, you know, and they got the money to pay it to pay him, I mean, they're going to do it. Um, you know, I mean, for me, like, I'm happy with what the Yankees did in getting Soto. I mean, they're going to they. Eventually, they're going to have the conversation of trying to, you know, keep him. But I'd rather I'd rather them have done what they did with trading for Soto than, you know, signing. Well, they again, you got Stanton at DH, so, it, you know, it wasn't really going to work out. Um, but, you know, for a team that's trying to get a, trying to get Otani, I mean, again, it's it's a really it's a really tough call because. You could really hurt your team too, if he ends up not panning out and he ends up being just your DH because he doesn't play the field. Now I think he he did play the outfield a little bit, but you know especially the game I went to when he didn't make it out of the first inning at Yankee Stadium a couple years ago, um, they they just took him out of the game completely. Like he didn't even hit. They they didn't even put him in the field. And I was surprised by that because I thought like, oh, they're just gonna stick him out in right field. No, they didn't. They didn't even do that. The Angels. So, um, I I think though, like you know, Otani going somewhere else. I, I mean, I think the Angels should. I know they said there's no chance, but I think they should. Uh, I think they should trade Mike Trout because the I mean the team's not going anywhere. I think you got to rebuild because. You're about to lose, and yeah, it was kind of a mistake to hold on to Otani because, you know, the team flamed out at the, you know, after the trade deadline. You made all these trades, and it just, uh, it really did not pan out for them. And now they, they're going to lose Otani for nothing. They're going to get nothing out of it. You know, and Mike Trout, I know he signed that contract to stay with the Angels, but, um, you know, it's, um, it's not looking good right now for him. So, um, you know, I, I, I think uh, if the Angels were smart, maybe you trade, you know, Mike Trout, get something out of him, and try to build for the future, I guess, because this I, the Angels are not going to do anything next year. They're not. They didn't do anything with Trout and Otani. Um, but it's something that we just got to uh, we got to keep an eye on, you know, um, because, listen, if a decision is made – and I haven't, you know, and it's not too late, then, um, you know, I come out with a short and give you my thoughts on what he, uh, what Otani uh, has done. But um, I don't know. I mean, all I'm seeing on, I'm, you know, I'm just looking at Twitter now. Um, you know, it, it's really just, it's, all I'm seeing is just Blue Jays and Dodger stuff. Um, but maybe maybe he shocks the world and goes back to the Angels. I, I, I really hope he doesn't. But um, I, I think that's really what's going to come down to. It's a big decision. But, um, you know, it's unfortunate that the New York teams, uh, it's not going to happen for them. It doesn't look like – I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I, I really don't know what the Mets are going to do. I mean, I guess they just – you know, I guess the following year is going to be when they really – go for it maybe I, I don't I really don't know I don't know what the Mets are doing um because now no Otani uh most likely no so well you could sign Soto in the offseason they, they could 
you know, throw a lot of money at him, you know. Um, but you got to worry about Pete Alonso too, trying to bring him back um, on an extension. So, it, yeah, they got a lot on their plate um, trying to fix up their rotation. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, all I, all I see on Twitter is deal, uh, his decision is imminent. So, you know, whether that means today, tomorrow, the next day, it's it's coming very soon. And uh, when it does, you know, of course, I'll give you my thoughts. Hopefully, like I said, he goes to the National League, he plays for the Dodgers, and, uh, you know, we only see him once unless, you know, we play him in the World Series if they get there, my team. Um, but that's what I'm hoping. I mean, if he goes to the AL East, I mean, uh, I mean, it's just going to be a headache to have to deal with. But, I mean, it'll make things fun. I mean, you got Soto, Otani. I mean, you know, of course, everybody, you know, making a big deal when, uh, you know, Judge and Otani would play each other, at least at the stadium last year. Um, like, that, yeah, that, like, that's fun to think about. But, you know, not when, like, you know that it's going to be against a team that you're going to be fighting for the division with. Um, but dominoes are starting to fall, you know, so it's, it's only going to continue. And, um, you know, and, and again, it gives us stuff to talk about because I mean, you know, there's a couple of weeks, I mean, listen, I'm only doing the baseball show every Friday. Um, but you know, like there's, a, you know, at points there's, there's not, there's not a lot of stuff going on. You know, and now we get, we're seeing trades and signings. So now, you know, there's at least things to, um, you know, to cover. But, um, you know, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, it's like, all right, well, just got to wait. And, you know, the, here's these rumors and all that. But some of the rumors came true. I mean, listen, Juan Soto was a Yankee. Um, and let's see where, let's see where Otani ends up. Yamamoto, Bellinger, um, you know, a bunch of other free agents still. I mean, I was watching a hot stove before uh streaming the football show today and you know they showed a lot of the players that are still available uh, obviously not superstar names but you know some guys on there could definitely help a team out you know so um it's going to continue you know so um but we await Shohei Otani's decision because it's going to impact a lot of other decisions as well and um you know just hoping that he, uh, like I said, he does not sign with the Blue Jays. He signs with another team, preferably in the National League, so my Met fr my Met fan friends can deal with him. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it with uh, when talking about Shohei Otani. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Where does he end up? Does he go with the Blue Jays? Does he go and sign with the Dodgers? Does he sign with another team? Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, so, yeah, in the next segment, um, you know, obviously talking about Soto getting traded to the Yankees, uh, I was looking at what other topics I could talk about today, and one of them that I thought was interesting was something that MLB um, posted, and it was, you know, past, you know, blockbuster deals that were done, you know, before... Uh, the season in the off season, and um, you know, I just thought it was interesting because you know a lot of them happened you know since I've been started. I started watching baseball, um, so it'd be kind of cool to uh, you know revisit some of those and talk about them. Um, you know, uh, so yeah, I I thought that'd be an interesting thing to uh, to cover, you know, to conclude the show. Um, so that is what we will do. When we come back from our uh, final break of the show already, uh, we're almost done, which is, uh, again, these shows just fly by. So with that being said, uh, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. 